Good afternoon from a, a very dull grey and rainy East Yorkshire. Uh, I've been waiting all day to try and do this video, but uh, this is about as good a light as I'm going to get, and I've got the overhead light on as well, so you may see shadows. Uh, those of you who have been following my blog on the Choke Peninsula, which started about a year ago actually, and there was a bit of a hiatus while I wasn't here. Um, but it's back on the road again now, and um, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll, if I remember, I'll post a link uh, to the blog. It's Tabletop Commander's Blogspot. It's easy enough to find, but I'll try and post a link to it. Um, what you see here is um, the area around, just down here, is the uh, Crow River Bridge. Um, it, the river is unfordable. It's only crossable by the bridge. The Union... Um, Division is advancing uh, from the north to try and get into the rest of the, uh, of the peninsula. And if I just show you the map. Now, this is uh, my hand-drawn map that I use. Um, and, it's, and it was correctly spotted. I think it was it Rob Preston that he recognised the lines and the style of something by the great Charles Stuart Grant and he was right because this is the book which I love these lovely clear maps I used some of these maps when I did uh, a valley campaign again ACW that's also on the blog. I'm not sure if it's on Tabletop Commanders on my own. But uh, I love his style of simple, simple maps. And I think there's a, a larger one in here somewhere. Which, this type of thing is... And one links onto the other. As you go up the page, you can see you link into the next map. So you create some... Oh, look, look, that's almost the Chalk Peninsula, isn't it? So, yeah. I have to admit... It's, Chuck Peninsula wasn't my idea. This was the man who gave me that idea, so I can't claim it, unfortunately. And uh, for, oops, there goes the book. For good measure, a couple of his uh, his other books, which are also excellent, brilliant reads. If you were, uh, if you want to get some great ideas for campaigns and battles and scenarios, right. It's a long way down when you're an old fat like me. Right, and I'm going to have to get this table sorted because this is how this was how it ended at the end of the last post on my um, blog. So that the situation will have changed because it's going to be the next morning and there will be a full Union assault coming. Uh, at the moment, Rhodes has only got. Uh, two infantry regiments, one artillery battery and some cavalry. He will be getting some more uh, guns, uh, another battery of cannon, but whether they arrive in time is another matter. And he may get he may get some other reinforcements, but it depends on the timing. Uh, it's all down to the timing, how soon the Union troops attack, if they manage to get across that bridge, etc. Um, I'll be using my... Uh, Humbrew Rules, which is a sort of mixture of uh, Command and Colours, you know, Battle Cry. I was going to say I'll be using their dice, but I won't because I, I haven't brought the bumming things on with me. So, but what I will do is just use ordinary dice and, and uh, designate the, the pits as the different faces, you know, i.e. Uh, a flag, infantry, cavalry, etc. So it's not a problem, it's just annoying, but uh, it's not uh, un unsurmountable. So it's a bit of a mixture that I do alter things slightly, things I've learned by doing the Valley Campaign. I found some things were a bit too strong, others were made it unfair to one side, basically whether fired first, basically won the battle. I've now made it so that it's um, simultaneous and I've weakened uh, the number of dice slightly to make it a bit more realistic. It'll slow the battle down a little bit, but not hugely. And um, I, I learned from the... Uh, the valley campaign I did, that's, uh, that was what I needed to do, so that's what I'll be doing. 
to try and keep the table clutter free, uh, clutter free even. Um, I'll be using the, uh, the good old um, you know, colour plastic chips, each one representing a different strength. But what I shall do is instead of putting them on the table either in front or behind the unit, I'll just stand it, stand them beneath the base so that when I'm rolling the dice, which obviously you won't see in the photographs, I'll just look underneath the base to see if it's got a yellow disc, a blue disc, a white disc or whatever so I know what strength it is and I can adjust that accordingly and uh, none of it will be visible on the table because it does spoil the effect of um, the battle when you can see dice or markers or this that, and the other to you know, you quite like to see the to see the table as it is you know with its rivers and its mountains um the trees and everything so i'm going to try and keep that but i've got to get this battle fought to a conclusion one way or the other whether the the rebels managed to hold off the union or the union successfully punched the way across the bridge because um the second um, invasion force of the Union, the other part of their core, will be coming on this road, the West Road. So I need to get this onto the table, or wherever the meet up. At the moment, we get this so you can see it. I'm trying to look through the little lens. At the minute, it's this area here. There's a Crow River. There's the bridge. So what we're looking at is this area around here. And that's what's simulated, supposed to be simulated on my uh, on my table. So I say I've got to because I can't I can't recreate this exactly as it is now because uh, well it's just difficult. I could I suppose, but it'd be difficult. So I want to get this battle sorted and done before we move across to the uh, west road with um, the rest of the Union assault going in, and then I can switch from table to table as uh, the battle uh, sways backwards and forwards. Well, that's the plan. Um, hopefully I can do that. So that's, that's about it. It was just a quick update, just to, for those of you who haven't followed my blog and thought I haven't posted for a while, I am back with the miniatures. It's not just all board games. Um, I've been playing a couple of the board games and I thought, you know what, I fancy carrying on with the, uh, carrying on with the, Chuck Peninsula campaign, so that's that's what you see ahead from here now. So right, okay, I'm waffling now, so I'll stop. Uh, I'll pull this up and I'll try and put uh, the link into Tabletop Commander's blog spot, but you should be able to find it easy enough. And uh, all the reports are in there. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment, uh, make any suggestions, but not rude ones. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye for now.